So what time travel does, it just allows you, since we're doing snapshots. So if you look in here, we had uh, a snapshot file in here. So snapshot files are just basically point in time um, of, uh, of a table at a certain time. So every single um, modification you do to a table, it's going to create a new snapshot. So we're able to actually go back in time and say, okay, give me that snapshot that you were using for a, a certain time. So, um, which is really, really nice, especially if you're doing a lot of stuff. So uh, I actually have it right here. So I, in every single table we have, we have metadata. So there's all this metadata that we keep about Iceberg and we can actually go query it from those files. You can see the manifest, the partitions, all sorts of really cool information. So in here, this customer Iceberg table that I have, I have these different snapshots available. So what happened was I was doing some updates. So I can actually come back in here and say, I want to go back in time and I want to query this table when I first before my update statement. And so it's going to give me this information back. And now if I put this in before, I can't remember if I did an actual update on this table or not. Um, but if it was before and after, you will get before and after information. I can also do timestamps as well. So if I want to know the customer name, from last week, Wednesday, or something like that. I don't need to know that timestamp. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't need to know snapshot ID. I can just do do by timestamp as well. So that's another big kind of um, uh, big benefit of, of something like um, Iceberg that brings to the day, the lake house, uh, which you couldn't do before. Same thing with rolling back. If I did screw something up, I had a load that went in and it was partial or something bad happened, I can actually go into this table and figure out what snapshot I want. And I can actually roll back to that snapshot. There's also other things too that are more database type functionality in, in, in the lake house is like renaming and adding columns. That was very difficult to do in the hive world. You can, uh, obviously I talked about before is rename a table, but also renaming columns. Mm -hmm. The other part too is um, changing the, uh, the partition. So if I want to know, you know, typically if I partition, I'm going to partition, let's say by month. And then I realize that, you know, uh, month is not big enough. I'm actually having a lot of people do queries by day or by multiple days. And so you can actually do an alter table on that and change the partitioning to day. So that's a big difference. Like that's what you'll see. Like when we talk about Lake House around here, Star Wars is because before it was the data lake. And now we're bringing more and more functionality. Everything that I just showed you right here, we could do this in databases for many, many years, but you couldn't do this on a data lake, you know, with petabyte data. And this is the big difference, like something like Iceberg. That's why we've put so much work into it this year that really rounds out the lake house, being able to do all these little database type functionalities in here. So 